Hey there guys, this is Cyril Gupta, your best friend in the business. And today I want to show you a very special software. It's called Pin Inspector and this software has been around for a long time, constantly being upgraded, constantly being made better. And with this app, you can analyze Pinterest and find out the best opportunities to build an awesome audience on Pinterest. It helps you by finding you the right niches, the right keywords to target, the right audiences that matter to your business. You can find the trending topics that can help you grow your account faster. And you can also find the value of every single keyword or every single niche that you want to target on Pinterest, plus the best people to follow, the best people to connect with, or Pinterest boards that you should be a part of. Now, if you've been on Pinterest, if you're building your audience on Pinterest, if you're an e-com seller, you can also use it to create a lot of research opportunities. You can find products that are winners. You can find products that you can sell yourself, products that other people are selling. So if you're a dropshipper, there might be a lot of opportunities to find out what other people are selling and use that in your business. So it's for research, it's for audience growth, it's for finding out what's working today. And I'm gonna show you a demo next, so wait for it. But before that, don't forget, if you pick this up from me today, I'm gonna give you Technic Force Rewards, which will help you get my applications absolutely free of cost. You don't need to pay for anything. This is an exclusive offer, which means you won't get it from anyone else today. So get it for a lifetime deal. Don't have to pay for it again. By the way, lifetime updates are included too. So across the past, it was well maintained and I don't expect to see any change in the future. So in the coming years, you will continue to get free updates and this product will be relevant all along this time. I'm gonna show you the demo next, so take a look. Make sure you watch the entire demo so that you understand the true potential of this app. And if you decide to pick it up, I will see you inside. Hey guys, I'm inside of Pin Inspector right now. And as you can see, this is a desktop app. It's available for both Mac and Windows. And when you get the access to download it, you will get a link for Windows as well as Mac. So please download it according to your operating system. And don't forget, Dave Gindon is also giving you some great PDFs. Now, if you are a Pinterest marketer who's got experience, you must know a lot of these things already, but it's always good to read new content that can help you become a better marketer. And if you are not an experienced Pinterest marketer, then I would say these PDFs, these little eBooks are gonna be very helpful for you because they will teach you how to be a better Pinterest marketer. So they are a must read. Now, when you go back to Pinspector, you're gonna see the screen, the initial home screen, but the real value is in all these tabs. So there's keywords, there is trends, pins, boards, and people. So basically, Pin Inspector is a data harvesting app that can help you grow your Pinterest account organically by two strategies. Number one, you get to know what kind of content to create because other people are creating similar content. You can look at them, you can get inspiration, you can get ideas, and you can also get resources for your own content. Also, you know who to connect with. So if you are looking for people to connect with, to follow, and those who can follow you in turn, then it's a great place to find reliable, viable people, viable accounts to help you. And it also helps you in discovery of Pinterest boards. So let's get started by looking at the keywords tab, what it's about and what does it do. So the seed keyword is what you put in to search Pinterest. Now, what this tab actually does, what this function actually does is look for Pinterest data from the Pinterest recommendation system. So if you go for Pinterest.com, they have automatic recommendations. When you put in a keyword, Pinterest will recommend some related searches. So let's try and look at it. So I'm just gonna try to step out of the business hub. Okay, so it's come back to the business hub. So there is a search box over here. When you put in any term, for example, plant food, it's gonna give you some related search keywords like plant food DIY, plant food recipes, and these searches will give you ideas about what other topics to create content on. 
Now, what PIN Inspector does is it gets you all of these things immediately in a nice comprehensive list. So when you click on generate, it's actually searching Pinterest, harvesting its auto recommendation data, and you can see it adds prefixes and suffixes to your search term. For example, I looked for plant food, then it looked for plant food A, and it found a lot of keywords with plant food A, and then it did the same for plant food B, and it found a lot of keywords. So, so on and so forth, it keeps going that way, generating keywords that are relevant, and using this system, you can find some excellent topics which are being searched by other people on Pinterest and which are very, very relevant to your own business. At the bottom, you can see the number of keywords generated and you can also see what is the seed that you used. Right now, we are at Plant Food 5. So it goes on like that. You do have some control over the data. So if you look for uh, file and filters, for example, you can you can filter this data in some ways and if you want to save it okay i'm on a dual screen that's why you see this big menu so uh, i can't really the, because half of the menu is displaying on the second screen so i can't really show it to you right from here but you can see that it saves the data to csv files too and there is a facility to find search volume so basically what you want to do is you want to search those keywords and then it gives you a ranking data it gives you word count in the search term it gives you a character count and it tells you what seed it used to find the term for example plant food c found something called plant food container so if you're targeting this keyword if you're targeting plant food and you want to get associated searches this is a great way to find keyword ideas that you didn't think of now it's important that these are the searches that are being made on pinterest all of this data is harvested from pinterest not from any other source so this is data which is relevant to pinterest now you can also right click over here and get some extra information like you can send this information to the trends tool and find out if it is featured in the trends tool or if people are actually searching for it in the trends or is it trending we'll look at we'll look at it again in a moment so let's continue looking at what other features it has you can search for pins based on this particular keyword so if you want to search for pins for plant food container you can send to pin search tool and it will search it you can also search for both and for people and you can get search volume so if you click on search volume it's going to create a data set of all the keywords that it harvested that you can take to search volume that io this is from storybase or you can take it to google keywords planner you can just import these terms and it's going to quickly give you the keyword search volume data that you can put inside of here to load up so this is not a part of the software search volume data is not a part of the software you actually have to get it from outside sources but it does give you some options to control the search range to control the seed keyword behavior because you can also have keywords before like you can have a plant food and see what happens so you can have prefixes and suffixes both as well as you can have two level suffixes. So it can try plant food CA and try to find out what keywords exist for that particular search. So this is a great way to discover keywords and also do associated things. You can export them in CSV. You can, you can plan out your content based on this or you can also search for other stuff. So let's do this. In fact, let's take some of this content into other places and see what happens. Let's take it to pin trends tool now. So I actually sent all. I don't want to send all. It's just going to take longer. Send selected to trends tool. So I'll just select this row and then send selected to trends tool. And it gave me all the data. So I'm just going to remove most of this. But let's see what happens. Click on go get trends data for keywords here we go and it's going to get trends data using the browser so it's actually extracting from browser and sometimes to get this data you might need to log in into pinterest and fetch it so i'm just going to log it off log in off the screen all right so i'm logged in right now and it is telling me that for this particular data 
this particular keyword there is no trending information so you got to try something different i'm not surprised because the keywords that we have here are not exactly trending so let's put in something that's more generic let's put in pets and see what happens again pinterest does give you the option to search for different country versions so you can search for united states canada uk and so many other places so based on where your marketing is focused choose that reason and then put in this trend so click on generate and this time it's using my browser and my logged in data to try and search the information so this can take a few seconds and you can see here the trend data is here there's a little chart which shows you how the trend is working over time so you can see it peaks up kind of here then it goes down and then it's rising again the search for keyword pets but here is something interesting be pets pattern easy so somehow this keyword which had very little interest earlier now you can see the interest is going up and if you're creating content and you want to get views then it's a great idea to target such keywords because using these kind of keywords you can tap into the increasing interest and of course show your content show product that you have and make money cute pets it went up but now it's stable adopt me pets you can see there is a lot more interest even though it's going down a little bit lps pets going down exotic pets going up now again wonder pets kind of like low lower than before sims 4 pets mod you can see the interest there is increasing and desk pets you know it's about to explode so if you are creating content that's related to desk pets you know that this is going to go up so this is something that gives you an idea about search trends about where the place is heading where things are heading and what you can target to grow your account faster and to tap into the exact information that people are looking for so i'm going to stop it right now because i think these are actually enough 10 items 10 returns this is pretty much what you will get for one keyword you can put in the keyword that you want if pin inspector can find the data it will return it if it can't find the data it will just let you know next let's go to pins by the way before i continue i want to tell you again the options are available things like send pin to search tool or boards or people or get search volume for that that particular keyword or send it to keywords everywhere tool now keywords everywhere of course it's a tool that is separate from pin inspector it's not from the same developer and through keywords everywhere you can find a lot of information about the keyword that you're targeting so you can actually send it to keywords everywhere right from inside this app so that's a handy thing to know now let's go into pins and this product this particular section as the name says will find the pins for you that match your niche so again i'm going to go back to plant food and i'm looking for 50 pins in this and i have an option to look for either videos or all kinds of information i will look for all pins click on search and now pinterest is being actively searched to find the pins on this topic so you got the pin id over here and you can see it's being extracted it could take a little time for this to extract let me just get this data all right as you see the data is pulling in is coming in and meanwhile the some of the data is already available things like title of the pin you can see the title of the pins that it's getting you can see the number of saves for that pin you can see how many repins were made how many comments were there and other other reactions they're all in here you can decide what to do with your own content based on what other people are doing so for example and of grid life 16650 total followers so whenever possible it's going to give you information like the website of the creator the number of followers the creator has and all of this is very useful when you create your own content so you can target the most popular pins you can for example categorize them on the basis of survey saves so you know that if you target something like this air purifying plants it's got a lot of interest a lot of saves a lot of repins a lot of comments and people want to talk about the topic and definitely if you create a series of pins on this topic you're gonna get good exposure so this is a great way to find the exact topics to use and also to do a bit of market research because sometimes you can check out the websites of the creators like you can see all of these websites are there so you can use it for product discovery if you are in let's say e-com or you want to do any kind of uh, 
uh, product on demand or deliveries or you want to find out what other people are selling this can be a great way to find products that others are selling you can see the kind of engagement they are getting and this is going to be very helpful for you when you want to find products to sell yourself you can create a competitor or you can find the same sourcing and sell this product online if even if you don't want to sell it on pinterest you can sell it on other platforms too so creator name is all over here wherever there is possible the website is available whenever there is possible whenever the website is available and it's possible to find the link so use all of this data to find great topics to create content on and if you click on it you will be taken to a page where the pin is there so you can do things like engage with this you can follow this person you can send them a message if you want to you can engage with them if comments are available and this is a great way to grow your pinterest account organically because the more people you engage with more your account will grow and more you will have the opportunity to get good followers who will then make your account more valuable and get you even more followers so that was for pins now you can do the same for boards you can put in a keyword and get a search result so let's try our planned food search again this time it's going to try and find boards which are focused around that topic now i don't know how many boards are related to pan plant food or how many boards have content but it seems there are some specific boards let's them come in i will just come back to you in a few seconds all right the information is still coming in but i do have a lot more info already you will see the board name and if you click on it you can open the board in your browser and you can see how many followers are there what kind of pins are pinned in that board what are the sections you can follow that board you can engage there you can even ask the board owner to let you post whenever possible that's the point of it right got the board name got the board followers got the pin count got the name of the owner so that you can engage with them find them online somehow and whenever a url is available you can check out the website you can check out what they're doing for example this person was probably the owner of an etsy store they don't have it any longer it seems or actually they have it you just need to put https somehow it didn't rewrote automatically okay so something seems to be wrong because it's not going to this particular website it's a subdomain let's see i expected that it's just gonna go there by default so etsy is working i think that store is dysfunctional so if you want to take it over you can just tell them hey i saw that you had a store and you're not using it anymore would you mind selling it to me along with the pinterest board that you have along with the pinterest account so that way you can acquire some pinterest property that can get you uh, views and searches later on sometimes people are just happy to get rid of their content if they're not creating anything new and this is a great way to discover those things and take them over now the boards of course you can also join these boards and try to post on them of course this depends on the board's policy sometimes you will find people who are looking for content they're more than happy to support you so always find out if they're ready to accept posts from you next you can also look for people i'm going to do the same search again i'm sure there are not many people named plant food but if they have it in their bios and links or they have something aboard on that topic it's going to show up so let's just wait a few seconds and let pin inspector extract the data all right check this out even as pin inspector is pulling more data you can see things like the username the complete name of the person the number of followers they have who they are how many they are following how many boards they are connected to the number of pins they have interest profile views profile reach then group board count their last pin date where they are located and if they have a website then the website address that's linked to their pinterest account whether their website is verified and their about content all of this information is available you can use this information to do a number of things firstly connect with these guys tell them hey i am in your niche i see that you're doing great work so can we connect try to also connect with the website check out their website sometimes you might be able to get link exchange deals from the website because people are discovering them from pinterest and they might not be doing so aggressively in search so they might be more open to link building to connect with you for link building because they are not just exposed enough to it and you can also connect with the user on different profiles you can use it use this information to research 
whether they are selling anything because I'm sure a lot of these people are actually e-com sellers. So look at this spoonful of plants. This looks like a recipe blog. It can be a recipe or gardening blog. So this is a plant-based cooking. So they've got these recipes in here. So you can actually discover a lot of interesting people that way. And you can also discover people who are doing sales online. So look at this thriveonline.ca. It looks like an e-com site to me from what I'm judging. Let's see what it's about. So this website is probably down. It's not working anymore. But let's try and put in HTTPS and see if that works. All right. So somehow I think this website is down. It's not working. And black fight, black fake food, B1 foods, a lot of food based things. Nourish Geek, Bontana. I think these are all recipe websites. But check out this one Zenbi My Shopify. So this is obviously a Shopify website. They're selling products, and you can use this search feature to discover what products are being sold by people. You can see they've got Cracker Bites, Five Shape Pasta, and a lot of other things. And they're successfully selling these products. They have been around for a while. So again, it can be used for many purposes. Grow your account with it, collaborate, sometimes even compete. If you want to use your product discovery, you can go to e-com sellers because they're all active on Pinterest a lot. You can grab ideas. If you are in dropshipping, you might be able to find some really good ones. So this is Pin Inspector. Now I have a special offer for you running right now. So if you grab it from my link, I'll give you the best price on Pin Inspector. I will give you the lifetime deal too. Yes, it's going to be a few dollars, a handful of dollars, not very expensive. Lifetime deals with all updates free. So you're going to get all the future updates free too. This is a special time limited offer from my site to you. And to get it, you need to click on my link, grab Pin Inspector from my link, and you get the lifetime access. You get all future upgrades free. Don't need to pay anything more. Plus, that's not all. I'm also going to give you Technique Force rewards, which you can use to redeem my apps free of cost. Now, this is the best way to purchase software, to acquire software. Always get them through my link when you can. Because it's not just going to be great bonuses, realistic products that you can use in your life and your business, but also Technic Force rewards, which you can use to redeem my applications absolutely free of cost. No need to pay for them. So this is it for Pin Inspector. If you decide to pick it up, I will see you on the inside. This is Cyril Gupta, your best friend in the business, signing off.